I collect things. And the most likely case is that you do too. Everyone collects something, whether that be money, cars, but me? I tend to collect quirky and sometimes weird stuff to do with old video games. And I'm very selective with my tanks. Most of these were gotten just from browsing on eBay and looking for what people were criminally underpricing. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, eBay itself considers buying it on its... <laughs> So it can't be that easy, you can't have that much stuff over the course of only like two or three years. Well, A, have you considered that advertisements are pretty damn stupid? And um, um, YouTube, I'm, I'm sorry, p p please, please don't take mine. Uh, anyway, and B, I'm gonna blow that dumb look right off your stupid face. But before we begin, there's one more thing I'd like to bring up. I just generally have a lot of stuff that I've collected, but a good half of them is like physical stuff, like the iPods and stuff. And then the other half is like virtual things, like TF2 hats. So I asked my community which half they would like to see first, and they almost unanimously voted for the physical items. So, um, here you go. We'll start this video out simple, with a shirt. But, I don't know how I can show you a shirt without showing myself, so, um, the obligatory new face reveal, I guess? Oh my god, it's a ham! I've never seen one of them before! This is a promotional shirt made for the video game Colin McRae Rally 3. And trust me, this isn't the last you're going to be seeing of that game in this video. The thing that makes this special, rather than just another piece of fabric, is that this wasn't actually a retail product. This was only sold to Codemasters employees through the in-house employee shop when the game was actually being developed around 2001 or so. Or was it 2002? I keep forgetting. I'm leaning towards 2002. Hey, jackass! This is Future Ham here! It's NEITHER! Hey, Future Ham! Future, Future Ham here! Google's lying to you! So if it's only meant to be given to employees in 2002, and I looked like this in 2002, then how the hell did I get my hands on it? Well, it's just another case of people on eBay criminally overpriced. <laughs> You're making my job so fucking hard. And this has quickly grown to be one of my favorite shirts. It has a nice illustration of the Ford Focus on the front, a sleek logo at the bottom, and if I can focus myself away for a second, it has the Codemasters logo on the back. So, um, yeah, pretty neat shirt. And now that I've eased you into this video, let me ease you into something else that's just a little bit crazy, but also something that I've shown on this channel before. The George. Any astute viewers of mine will remember a video I made a few years ago where I ranked every single console port of Heritage for the Future, this including the PS3 re-release because that's just an upscaling of the arcade version with online play, while the PS1 and Dreamcast versions have a little bit more meat on their bones. They're also really rare, like holy shit! You may be wondering how the hell I even have it. Well, this was actually my first really rare find for a video game, as whoever was selling it was selling their entire Dreamcast collection for 20 quid a game, which is an alright price for about a majority of them, but he didn't realize how much of a bargain 20 quid for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure on Sega Dreamcast was. It's a complete in-box copy as well, in a very good condition. The only real issue with it is that the glass on the front is a little bit flimsy, but that's really about it. It's got the disc, it's got the manual, it's got everything you'd want for the Sega Joge experience. But if you want to see me talk about this game more, I've linked the video where I talk about it in the description. So, uh, yeah, let's move on. The next thing I'm about to show you is probably the most common thing in this video, but I recently got my hands on this. It's a complete in-box copy of a PAL Dreamcast game called Choo Choo Rocket. 
It was only about five quid when I saw it at my local... Okay, I know this joke is probably going to crucify my ads, but I, I just I just have to do this. It's too much of a low-hanging fruit. Uh, my sex! And the only real problem with the case is this little scratch on the back here. Side note, when I was actually buying the game, it was behind one of those glass doors. And a lot of people have horror stories of the employees giving them death snares or even thinking about getting the game aim from the back. Maybe I got lucky that I wasn't stabbed, I don't know. The funniest part to me though is because this was a complete inbox copy, it also came with Dream Key. And honest to god, not even joking for realsies, web browser for the Dreamcast. Yes, this white VCR can surf the web. Sick. And staying on the topic of the Dreamcast... GET BASS! I actually showed this thing off in my 100th Handman video where I did what else beating Wacky Races PS2 with this damn freak of a controller. Because every time I get a freak of a controller, it is written in law that I have to beat this game with it. And I'm sorry, that's just me. And if you're wondering how I even controlled it, basically I had to turn this rotary dial every single time I wanted to accelerate. So then only one thumb was available for the steering with this awkward grip. And I had to put my thumb off the steering so I could use the buttons. So yeah, kind of archaic, but not impossible. Aside from that, I absolutely love this thing. It's one of the most hilarious controllers I've ever had, and it's surprisingly versatile. Though another thing to note, you may have noticed from the box saying, GET BASS, that this is the Japanese version, not the European version. Why is that? Because every version outside of Japan never got the official rods. They always had to settle with these third-party ones, and even though they still do look pretty funny, come on, it's just... It's, it's not the same! <gasps> oh, okay, okay, okay! If this is not a drill, we gotta fight! We gotta reel it in as quick as possible! Come on! Come on! At first glance, this is shit! It just looks like an ordinary Xbox Series S. That one console that thought the digital is everything and completely removed the disk drive. Because if you want a disk drive, you gotta get the bulkier version. Uh... But what the hell? If I have the brand new Xbox with me, we might as well play it and have some fun with the video games. That... You never told me this was a fork. So you may be wondering what the hell this thing is after seeing those blocked out HDMI ports. And don't worry, the answer's all in the label. This was not meant to be something that was put up for sale. This is actually an in-store dummy. To make it look like an entirely convincing Xbox Series S, so if someone decides to try and blindly rob it and succeeds, they'll come back home to find... Oh. Oh, it's fucking nothing. So, how did I do this, aside from doing a little bit of trolling? Well, this one has quite the backstory, because it used to be on a display, which was directly given out by Microsoft if they were selling, like, Xbox Series S's and Xbox Series X's. But that building set on fire and burned down. And to help the owner repay for all of the damages, they're selling the display models so they can get real ones instead, because these are technically counted as collector's items. I actually found these when they were open for bidding, and they were selling both a Dummy Series S and a Dummy Series X. And I had a feeling that everyone, every single bidder ever, would be after the Series X, considering that's the big, bulky, proper next-gen model. So, that one would just sit blindly with no beddings. It turns out I'm more of a fortune teller than I thought. And let me tell you, if you think that that's a crazy backstory for one of these, you haven't seen anything yet. Because now, we move on to one of the coolest things that I own. The Wasp! I've been curious about the PSP ever since I saw the games that ran on it. 
I mean, fuck, it can hold the colon McCrell Rally 05. The Puss 2 can barely even do that. And I'm gonna be honest, this thing delivers. The games it can run are great. The battery life is absolutely unthinkable. I mean, I just left it in standby for about a month. I took it out for this video. Two bars. Out of three. What? And plus, the console design itself, which I was originally gonna go for a white version, and then I saw this special edition turquoise version on sale for only about 75 quid as opposed to the normal three digits that I go for. The console just looks great. I think it's probably my favorite design for a handheld, if I'm being honest. I mean, look at that. That looks like a fun bomb stick. In fact, what game is it even playing? Hey, I kind of underestimated how big this video was gonna be when I dived into it. I thought, hey, physical collection, virtual collection, that'll make for a nice two-parter, but again, there's so much more stuff to cover that at this point of the video, editing it started to hit that point where it wasn't fun anymore. So, I asked my community whether they'd like to see all the physical collection stuff in one big video, but have it postponed until it's fun again, or if they'd like to see it split into two parts, which is likely also going to be the same case for the virtual collection. And the community almost unanimously voted that they want a part split. So, um, good on you guys, I get to have more fun editing my videos, and as a bit of a present for you, I actually filmed myself the moment I hit 3,000 subscri- Fr How the fuck am I already at 3,000 subscribers? I, I was at 2,000 a few days ago, and that was like a cosmic celebration. Roll it. Oh. Oh. I just looked at my analytics. Do it. Do it. Video. I want to actually get this on video. Come on. Come on, hurry up. Well, I will wait here very patiently for it to go to 3,000. I swear to God, if I wait all this time and. Oh, there it is! <laughs> Fucking 3,000 before I even finish a video that was meant to be, oh, I'm gonna do this right, 3,000 subscribers special. No! Here it is. What the fuck? <laughs>